Here we are, we're in the space area. Mm -hmm. And this space is to talk about the software combined with PACE, personalized, automated, connected, and electrified. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bosch is really focus areas. And, um, you know, I know, Matt, you are, a, well, we're both, we're powertrain yeah. guys. Let's start with what we know best. Sounds like a good start. Uh, so, f fuel cell. Uh, tell me what we showed and, yeah. and what was, was important. Yeah, so we're really showing ways to achieve zero emission transportation. And one way is through hydrogen fuel cells. So, in this uh, pace car, we're showing the fuel cell stack, which is really the heart of the system. This is where we're converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity, and you only have water coming out of the exhaust. So really, truly zero emission. But we also have other components around that to really make sure that system works uh, to the best of the performance. So that's the electric air compressor. Yep, saw that. The hydrogen gas injector, an anode recirculation blower, a number of different sensors, and control units. So Bosch can really take the software and our system know-how to make sure these components and system is operating to the best performance, but also through that lifetime. I know I explained to a lot of uh, people as they came by the importance of having alternate uh, energy sources beyond just the battery, yeah. having that hydrogen energy source for larger app truck applications. Yep, exactly. and it, it, it was it was well received for sure. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Um, I learned about automated, and the components in red behind me are some of the sensors yep. for automation. Uh, you know, uh, when we talk about automated driving, you need three p components, sensing, thinking, okay. and acting. Okay. And the vehicle displayed, first of all, the whole sensor suite, the radar, front radar, the corner radar, and newly we're developing a long range LIDAR, which LIDAR. we showed off. So lots of sensors, including a position uh, sensor, a box in, in the car that mm -hmm. can tell you exactly where the car is uh, in really any condition. Really right. remarkable. Yeah, I think that's, that's big, you know, really providing additional accuracy over GPS. So you can start to say, I'm in a certain lane, or now I have hazards on the road that I can warn other drivers about as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to what we know for a minute and let's talk electrification. Yep, what were we showing there? Piece. Yep, so we really have a, a, a really unique product in an electrified axle. So, you know, everyone is integrating those, but we feel Bosch is integrating those very optimally and holistically on a system. So we have the electric motor, the inverter and a transmission in a very small compact package. And and that's fully integrated. I mean the inverter is part yep. of the of the e-axle. Exactly. Yep. And it's very flexible and modular as well. So we can meet the customer demands on how to best integrate that into their vehicle. Charger converter was there. Um, that's a new product for us, yep. I think. Yep, exactly. That's that's important for optimizing, you know, how the vehicle is charged. And um, yeah, it's another key piece. So Maybe we talk for a minute because that leads us to the vehicle control unit. Mm -hmm. I think Bosch has the overall system EE architecture expertise to really decide you know, how those should best be integrated together and functional. And that leads me to uh, the connected part of mm -hmm. the discussion because yep. we had the domain controller as well as the smart antenna, yep. which allows, I guess, you then to um, bring new uh, software onto the vehicle right. even after the vehicle is launched into the market. Yep, yep. that's going to save the OEM and fleets you know, time from having to flash. But then it also allows you to put data into the cloud. And once that data is there, I think Bosch has a full suite of, of services and, and things we can do with that data to really optimize you know, the vehicle, fleet, and everything for our customers. It was interesting because we showed this infinity symbol mm -hmm. as the, the yep. de DevOps cycle and basically with the point that the development cycle never ends even after the customer exactly. has the vehicle, they can always uh, add new functionalities, uh, make yep. upgrades, make updates, yep. really fascinating. Yep, exactly, and with all this you know, content, yeah, it's really endless what we can do with that. So we've hit just about any everything. I, I guess the last we we didn't talk personalized. Okay. We had the in vehicle sensors, uh, mm -hmm. cameras, uh, all of our wonderful display units. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people are very impressed Definitely. with the uh, displays, and uh, I, and and of course then we talked about the services that are all possible mm -hmm. um, from 
automated uh, automated valet parking, right. connected Char charging. Charging, yeah, that was gonna say the charging service. In any event, it was really yep. great to spend the week here. Definitely. Working like a with boss. You. Like a boss. We hope you enjoyed our quick overview of the space vehicle at CES 2022.